You're a Democrat from New Jersey, but a lot of what you've been doing is focused on more bipartisan efforts, including the SALT Caucus, too. What is that, 35, 36 congressional members who would like to see SALT re uh, reinstated? That's right, Becky. You wanted to debate a Democrat today, even though you are a Democrat, because you take issue with some of the administration's policies. What, what is it that you'd like to see happen? Well, I think first and foremost, Becky, uh, as, as was just reported, I think we have to keep working to find a bipartisan solution. And the best way to do that, um, you know, where we're going to get the Republicans is looking at the physical infrastructure part of this, the roads, the bridges, the rails, water infrastructure, energy and broadband. Those are the places where, based on the conversations I'm having both in the House with the Problem Solvers Caucus, which, as you know, is 29 Democrats and 29 Republicans, as well as working with senators on both sides of the aisle, I really see that we can get something done there. Obviously, Senator Capito is talking to the president today, but there's a group in the Senate as well in the House that want to see a bipartisan deal get done, and I think it's very doable. So what comes first, a bipartisan deal when it comes to infrastructure or SALT? Because I don't know that the two of them will coexist, at least at this point, especially when what you hear now is that the president is saying, OK, we'll hold off on trying to raise corporate taxes to pay for this. That means there's less money to go around to fund other things like what you would like to see with SALT. No, Beck, you know, you know what I see the way this was, and I, I hope the way that it moves, is you, you'd likely get a bipartisan deal done on the physical infrastructure side that I was just discussing, and that would be through regular order. And you know, given what the Republicans are saying, we'd have to find other revenue raisers besides uh, uh, looking at any uh, tax increases. Um, and then there would be a second package potentially through reconciliation, um, where you would address, if, and that's where the president would want to uh, address uh, other revenue raisers and, and other parts of his jobs plan. And in and if we do that, and and if the president approaches. Uh, changes to the tax code, that's where I would see SALT happening. And so it may just be that there's no changes to the tax code, but that first part um, well, would not, you know, I don't think address SALT because it would just be about the physical infrastructure piece without changes to the tax code. So what you just described is what Joe's been talking about is his plan for how this should go down to get a bipartisan deal for all the things both sides can agree on and then go ahead and get everything else the Democrats want anyway by taking the rest of it through budget reconciliation. You think that's what really plays out? Well, I think that if you're going to do a if you're going to do a bipartisan deal, that's how it would move forward. Um, you know, because you're not going to be able to do a lot of the other parts that the president has talked about in his jobs plan in that bipartisan package. I think it's really important uh, that we can that we get a physical infrastructure deal done and do something in a bipartisan way. And I think it's very doable. Now, of course, we'll have lots of debate over a second package. What should be in there? Somebody like me thinks we've got to be very careful both in what we spend, and of course, uh, I'll be I'll keep a very watchful eye on on the revenue raiser side of it, and as well as some of my other colleagues. We've got a tight majority in the Senate, as you know, and also a really tight majority in the House with four, a four-seat majority. So regardless, it's going to be a pretty uh, healthy debate. I'll be pushing very hard to reinstate SALT uh, if we do anything on the tax code in, in that second package. But to me, that this is our best way to move forward right now. And I really think um, you know we've, got, we've really got good momentum behind it. Why is it so important, do you think, to, to do bipartisan legislation, especially for this first part? What, what will that signal? What will that mean? Does it change the atmosphere in Washington? Well, I think, first, infrastructure is one of those things where you can get Democrats and Republicans uh, on the same page. It's one of those areas where we always agree uh, that we've got to do something together. I think there's an urgent need for it, uh, given the fact that you, you know, a third of our bridges in, in New Jersey are crumbling, eighth worst roads in the country. You know, there's an, there's an urgent need here. We've got to get EV infrastructure out there, which I think is very important. We've got water issues. So there's a critical national issue here that we've got to deal with. And also, to your point, Becky, it's, I think it's, it's important that the country sees that we can unite and come together. That's something the president talked about, of course, in his, uh, in his inaugural address. He mentioned the State of the Union, that he wants both sides to come together around this. I mean, sorry, in his address to Congress. So I, I think it's very important that we can show the country that Democrats and Republicans can come together, especially after these last months and years of such great division. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.